Hey, and welcome to another edition of MasterVisualStudio.net. My name is Jeff Daniels, and today we're going to create a quick website up on Microsoft Azure and then publish an existing NBC site up there. So it should be quick and easy. Let's get started. All right, so the first thing you're going to want to do is if you don't already have a Microsoft Azure account, head on over to azure.microsoft.com. Uh, they make it real easy to get signed up and get started. You basically come over here, click on your free trial. Now you do need to have a eventually a Microsoft account for this, which is great. Get one of those anyways. They're handy to have. Unlocks a whole bunch of cool stuff you can do with Microsoft and their tool sets. Uh, but they'll give you free 200 bucks to spend your first 30 days. You can use that for whatever you want. You can use it for creating up websites on Azure, uh, SQL Server databases, uh, CDN network hosting, all kinds of fun stuff. It's cool. Grab it. It's free. And once you get your account set up, We'll be right back and we'll get started on setting up a site in Microsoft Azure. All right, so we have our Windows Azure account set up now. And if we go to manage.windowsazure.com, that'll bring us to the Azure portal. And you can see down the left-hand side, there's a whole bunch of interesting things we can do here. Everything from spinning up virtual machines to cloud services to SQL Azure databases. Uh, there's CDN, there's setting up a CDN network down here. There's traffic manager for having multiple availability regions for the same URL. There's a lot of fun stuff we can do, but today we're gonna to focus on creating a website and you can do that right from here. Click on this arrow or you can come down here and say new and we'll say website, quick create. And the name you're gonna give here for the URL is gonna have azurewebsites.net added to it. And when it does that, it has to be a unique name. So if I wanted to go in and put in Google, we can see that's surely not available, which is fine. We want one that is specific to us, so we'll do Master VS. We can see that's available uh, in the end in a future video. We'll explain how to swap this out anyways to use custom domain names. So it's not that important to us, except for when we're managing this within the Azure portal. So pick your web hosting plan and pick your availability region. So Microsoft has these availability regions for hosting all around the world. Pick the one that's closest to your client base to try to make sure they get in the fastest response time. I'm gonna pick the East US. One of the practice I have is I'll go back and I'll add the, avail the region that it's in to the end. It makes it a little bit easier from the management side to quickly see where the different services are hosted. So I'm gonna go and put East US and click on Create. Now this takes literally a few seconds to spin up this site. And as a developer, I'm sure you can appreciate how, you know, the benefit of that. So now, Rather than going to IIS, setting things up, doing all the legwork to get that done, I literally come in here, walk through that wizard, I've got my site, and it should be, yeah, it's set up. So just like that, I've got a website up on Azure to publish to. You can go in and see the details about it. We've got this landing page here, which has some more high-level information, but if we go to Dashboard, you'll be able to see activity on the site as far as bandwidth, CPU usage, and what I'm looking for is this was the URL that we added. So if we want to access this site, uh, we would basically go to that link. It'll create it in a new tab, and we can see which the site's up and running on the cloud, and we're just waiting for something to be published up there. So at this point, why don't we jump over to Visual Studio? We've got an existing site over there that we want to publish up, and we'll get that up in the cloud. All right, we're back. We're here in Visual Studio 2013 Premium Edition. And so what we're looking at is a straight out of the box MVC template uh, website. We just created it. We haven't changed anything in it except for if you go to the index, we've changed this H1 just so we can see that that's what's actually getting published up to the site. So real straightforward stuff here. You could have an existing static site or, or you could do obviously a data driven site as long as the site could get back to your database uh, connection. So let's go ahead, right click. Now this works straight like any other web deploy that you've used previously, so it's really straightforward. We're gonna go in there. You have a new option now for Microsoft Azure websites. We'll select that. Once you're signed into your account, you'll see a list of the websites you've created. So we'll pick the one that we've already created in the previous section. You can also create a new one right from here if you wanted to do that, rather than create it through the portal. So we'll say okay. This has brought in the publishing profile from the site. Now you can also download that right off the site and import it from there if you wanted to. 
in this case, it brought it all down for us. And this is the, the site that, or the URL that we created earlier when we made that initial site, validated the connection. And now we're just gonna go ahead and publish. So let's take a look and see how we do on this first try. Generally, this is pretty quick, uh, 20, maybe 30 seconds tops for a small site. So you can see, here we go. And you will see this happen, and I wanted to really leave this in to kind of make this point and to try to help you out in case you do run into this. Uh, so what's happened here is I've seen this error before, and I know what this is. You could either turn off, off the custom errors and see it here, or I'll walk you through really all it is. The underlying piece here is that you're deploying to a fresh IIS installation that may or may not have all the DLLs that you need for your website. And in this case, the template that's used for MVC out of the box does not have all of those. Now I'm going to do a kind of a broad brush painting here. You could do all of those DLLs. You could find out which ones in, in particular you need to copy up. In this case, just to prove a point, we're going to go ahead and say bring them all local. And once we do that, we'll publish that out again. So what that means is that it's now going to push all of these up there, at least the first time. And then if they change, they'll get bumped up again. But this really ensures that everything your site needs to run is going to be included in the package that you push up to the cloud. So let's go ahead and walk through that publish process again. You can see it saved the profile from the previous time, so it's much quicker to deploy that next time around. So now once the site comes up, we should be in a little bit better shape. Now, one other thing to note is that if you have a site that requires uh, COM DLLs or some other type of setup prior to working, right? So that type of solution really doesn't, doesn't fly. As, and here we can see the, actually, let me just jump back. So this published up fine. We're in good shape there. Templates up there. We're at that URL. All that looks good. One other point I wanted to make is if you have any kind of COM dependency or any other setup that you need prior to your site working, then the Azure website solution is probably not the best solution for you. You're going to want to look to cloud services. With cloud services, it's very similar hosting environment, except you can set up jobs or, or worker pieces that can happen before your website actually starts up, which is a really big plus. I mean, it, it kind of spins up the whole VM underneath too, so it's a little bit longer of a process. But if you need custom configuration for your site to work, that's the, that's the way to go. But if you don't, this is much it's a faster more lightweight solution easier to go and uh, and you know barring that one exception I would say stay with this until it doesn't work for you so that's it we've taken a MVC for site that we had for you know client X moved it up to the cloud form set up the new cloud site up in Azure and if you did it on your credits it's all free too so that's even better so I hope you, this was helpful and you guys enjoyed this we're gonna add some additional videos to this series which will show things such as adding custom domain names so that you're not obviously directing someone to this site, uh, using Traffic Manager, using online storage, and using SQL Azure. So stay tuned. I hope you like this and we'll see you next time around.